Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and a new episode on Glenlatan. Today we are going to take care of some contracts. I already accepted one. Actually, let me show you because it will be best if you see it. Uh, I already accepted the harvesting contract. We need to harvest oats on field 100 and I already delivered the machinery to the to the field. We have a New Holland harvester and the class tractor that we borrowed for the contract and we are going to use those and see how many contracts we can do in this episode. Also, you can see we have a lot of bailing contracts, but I'm not going to touch them as of yet because we are in July and harvest season started. So we should have some harvesting contracts. And regarding the crop, I'm not going to keep any of the crop from those fields. We are going to sell everything and see how much money we can make. We have some more harvesting contracts that appeared since last time. I checked this. So we have field 48, field 96. Let's see where those fields are. Field 96 should be close. It's here and it's canola. And field 48 should be a big field because I saw the paycheck was 10k. Yeah, field 48 is here. So I'm going to also borrow items for this. And we now have two active contracts that we need to finish. Both of them are harvesting contracts. Let's now jump to field 100 and start harvesting this. Yeah, I need to turn on the engine on the harvester, otherwise it wouldn't work. I'm assuming. And let's start uh, harvesting these oats. I'll put some music on and I'll come back to you guys when we deliver the oats to the sell point to see how much money we are going to make out of this first contract. I think we now harvested around 60%, 65% of the field and we have our first full trailer load and we need to take it to the sell point, but I need to double check to see we have two contracts uh, opened. 
So let's see where we need to take those. We need to take them to the grain mill. I think this one over here is the grain mill. Yes. And the canola will have to take over here in the other part, part of the map. So let's uh, go deliver our first load of oats. I will see you guys at the cell point. The first load has now been delivered, we delivered I think 62%, uh, now let's finish this harvest. All the oats are now off the field, I'm going to dip them into the trailer and the last job to do on this contract will be to get to the sell point and see how much money we are going to end up with after selling all the oats and completing the contract and getting paid for it. So let's get to the sell point. We are almost at the grain mill. So like I said, the last thing to do is to tip this trailer into the cell point over here at the grain mill. Uh, and I'm very curious to see how much we will be able to make on top of the contract. I'm guessing 3 or 4 thousand, but let's see. It's now started to tip. I think we should need around 10,000 liters to complete the contract and the rest should make us some money. Oh, we made over 70k on top of the contract. That's good. Now let's go to the contract page and collect on this. And now let's jump into the harvester another new holland harvester and let's get to the canola field and start working on this contract as well our oats oat fields that we have our arable fields that got drilled with oats are not ready to harvest yet they will probably be not probably for sure be ready to harvest next in game day basically it will be august i think by then so they will be ready to harvest them. Also our grass fields will be ready for another cut I think in August. But uh, I'll probably cut the grass off camera again. Also I don't know if we're gonna manage to do three contracts today. I'm hoping so but uh, we'll have to see how long it will take us to finish the canola harvest. I'm guessing the canola it's not 
yielding as much as the oats did and I'm hoping to be able to fit all of the harvest in this trailer and not make two trips to the end of the map but if it will not fit it will not fit it's not a problem also what I didn't do I didn't check on the used machinery sale yeah we don't have anything we have a big corn header but that doesn't uh, help us uh, and also after thing after harvesting our oat fields uh, the oat I think we are going to put in storage and sell it when the price will be good and that should probably be probably be somewhere around December time and we are going to need to buy or rent or I don't know I'll, I'll check a slurry spreader and also a manure spreader because we are now starting to have a lot of slurry and manure from our cows and we can spread those on the on the fields to get them fully fertilized and not invest more money in uh, let's say chemical fertilizer that will be that will be also a good thing but I'll have to see what I can find on mod hub in regards of slurry slurry tankers and the manure spreader because the ones we have in game standard I think they are too expensive I'm going to have to go in the crop over here a little bit but since it's a contract it will not get destroyed so that's good I'll park here the trailer, let's open the harvester I need also to get into this crop as well <coughs> I don't have enough space otherwise to put on the header and now let's get cracking on this contract We are going to fit all of the canola in into this trailer so we'll have to do two two loads so i'm thinking about uh, putting a worker on this combine harvester to speed things up a little bit maybe you will be able to fit in one more contract on here so let's put a worker here should be able to follow exactly the line 
I've been drawing if he misses something I'll come back and I'm going to take this tractor and trailer and go deliver this to the cell point We are almost back at the field and just in time because I just got prompted earlier that the worker has a 80% full hopper. But uh, otherwise he did good, he didn't miss anything, I think, I hope so. Now let's pop the worker, let's empty this into the, into the trailer and I will finish this harvest on a fast time lapse and I'll see you back when I get to the cell point to deliver the last load of canola. Okay everyone, this is the last of the canola that we got of that field and now we are at the oil mill. Let's tip this trailer in and see how much money we we are going to make on top of the contract. I'm guessing it should be more or less around 7k like we made on the oats contract that we finished earlier. But you know, I still can hope that it will be much more than that. Let's see, we should start getting money, yes. Yeah, we made eight and a half thousand, so a little bit better than the oats contract. Also, let's go to the contract page and collect on this one as well. Let's see what else we have available in terms of contracts, because I don't want to, and I don't think I have to time to do another harvesting contract in this episode. So yeah, nothing else. Uh, also, I wanted to check how much milk we have in total. We have, well, almost 10,000 liters, but I think the price should be at its worst. Uh, actually, not really. The price is not that bad. But the best price is at exports, which is in the other corner of the map. Okay. Uh, what? Uh, alone, we don't have a loan anymore. Our animals still have food. We have 50 sheep. Uh, we have 20 cows. They still have food. They are okay. We need to put some more straw in. But uh, I'm not going to do that right now. I don't think there has been anything else on onto here. 
So let's go back to our farm. And let's go to the store and lease a straw blower. Actually, let's check what they have from here because I may need my front loader for this. I don't know if I installed or not some more straw blowers, but we'll we'll see in a moment. I don't know why, but the first time when I open the shop every time it freezes it for I don't know around 10 seconds. I don't know why that's happening, but okay. So no, I didn't install any straw blowers, but I think what is this? This is a total mix ratio. No, we don't need that. We need this. Let's list this. How much is it? 1,800. It's okay. And let's go to the shop, get this here and put some more straw in the, in the cow shed. And after we do that, I'm thinking about ending this episode here. Also, next time, I'll probably... Mm, let me think. Yeah, I'll see you in August and we are going to start harvesting our own fields. Get the oats out of it and the straw because I'm going to... put the straw soft down and we can make some more bales. If I will keep the bales or not, I don't know. We'll have to see. Also... I will check on the price of silage because I want to sell some more silage bales. Let's actually do that right now. Silage, it's over here. Now it's at 477 in biogas. And the best price is almost 600 in December. So yeah, I'm not gonna bother selling it right now. I'm going to wait until December and then probably sell one or two loads. To get some more money and maybe we can afford the field will be good to, to have another arable field so we can mix a little bit the crops. I don't want to put the same crop in all the fields over and over again. Or at least that's what I'm thinking right now. We'll have to see. Uh, let's get this food. Where should I put this? I'll put it here. And we need the front loader for this tractor and then we need to get some bales out of the shed over here. Some straw bales, not any bales. Let's see. Uh, hay, silage, straw. How many should I take out? Let's take out four for now. And uh, if it's not enough, I will get some more of it. In the description of the straw blower, I think it said that it holds two bales, but uh, I should be able to put four in. I hope. This is 10,000 liters, liters of straw. Yeah, probably I'll get another four bales out besides this and uh, put, in the, put them in the cow shed. I'm not used to working with these straw blower machines because most of the sheds uh, take bales. Mm -hmm. From a, for a particular reason, this one doesn't. But it's okay. I mean, I can get used to this sort of machines. And actually, in real life, if you think about it, the Farmers use straw blowers to to put the bedding down for the cows. Uh, also, in regards of feed for the cows, what are we missing? We are missing hay. And where's the mineral feed? Uh, we still have some mineral feed. So if I put some more hay in, this should uh, be able to produce some more food for the cows, but they have to 100,000 liters of DMR, so I'm not gonna bother. Now let's get this straw put in. It's going to take a, take a while. And actually, let's go to the animal page and check 
Yeah, so if you put 10,000 liters, 10,000 liters will, will appear here, I think. So yeah, let's, let's see, let's see. I don't want to put very much in because we only have 20,000, they will not reproduce until next spring, I think. Or somewhere along those lines. So we don't need that much straw. So yeah, we are 30,000. I think I'm gonna put four more bales just because I list the, the straw blower and that will be it. Let's do a short time lapse of, of this and uh, then we can end this episode. Okay, so the straw is now in. Let's return this uh, straw blower. I don't think we are going to need it in a, in a while. Maybe not until we end this series. And like I said, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you are still enjoying this series. If you do, please give us a like. If you want to watch more of my videos, subscribe to the channel. And in the end, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.